really wants to come in for her nails, but I tell her, Sibioli, I'll call you back when I have time. There is no need to call back 20 times in a day or to message. Press that number four, you guys, if you don't like it when your customers keep messaging you 100,000 times, especially when you're super busy. This one needs a little bit more glue. More press on DIY gel, sorry. And I'm just applying it with clear today because since I'm putting the design mostly on the nail bed, it doesn't really uh it doesn't really matter. So you won't really see it. So if you apply the one, two, three, go nail and you feel like it's moving, that probably means you need a little bit more gel. So let's go ahead and bake that for one minute. That's right, Jojo. It's the me, me syndrome out again. It's so sad. That's right, that number four. I made my first order with you guys when COVID started and you guys were so awful when I called, letting me come and pick up in stores since I live in Ajo. Oh, that's right, you can do curbside pickup when you live locally. How long do they last on? They stay on until you take them off, actually. So forever. You can fill them. Yes, we have lots of videos. I suggest you binge watch, Mama. We have over 10,000 tutorials. We have tutorials on how to take them off, how to do a new set, how to file them off, how to fill them. Everything step by step by step in full living color. So we're just going to really gently tailor them because remember, our French and our ombre nails require very, very little shaping because we do not want to remove the black French in this case because we're using black French long sculpted coffin. Oh, and happy 16th of September. I forgot about that. Today is the Mexican 4th of July. Well, tonight at midnight. And we're going to be using our new bit. Today we did drop a new bit. I promised Telly I wasn't going to drop any new products, but we did drop a new product today which is the power bottom bit which is a bit designed specifically for use with the C curve as you can see it has this really cool conical shape and the cuts on it so this bit is really great for the C curve for cleaning out the inside of the nail and for the cuticle area so we're gonna use it for the cuticle area You can also use this bit to remove any excess product underneath the nail. And you can see because of the unique conical shape, it really gets into the sidewall really nicely. Beautiful, look at that. Just love a good black French, you guys. It is like the Chanel bag of the nail game. Make sure everything is nice and even again. With a really soft file, we're gonna be using just a 240. Make sure the edge is nice and even. 
You guys, I have some really interesting news for those of you that like to travel. I had read last night on the internet that they are going to be opening up Thailand again to tourism. So, maybe your boy will go to Thailand, I don't know. It depends on the requirements, because I do not want to quarantine two weeks in a hotel room locked up like our prisoner. That does not seem like fun. So I put a little bit of nail prep on the surface of the nail and at the cuticle area because it helps melt the cuticle area a little bit better. And it also cleanses the nail bed, the whole nail, because you cannot buff the top surface of the nail because you will remove the, uh, in this case, the black French because remember they are handmade to keep that artisanal quality to them. So just a really nice thin coat of Maximagic Foam Glue. Just like that, and we're going to cure this for 30 seconds. Inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp, we're going to be using the Malibu foil set. You're going to love the bit, so great. I would use um, black painting gel to touch it up instead of black gel polish because painting gel is a little bit more uh, heavily pigmented. So she is done baking. We're going to take a little piece of this really pretty bronzy foil. It's from the Malibu foil kit. Look how pretty that is, you guys. This foil kit is really, really fun. And we're just going to, just a little bit. Here and there and everywhere. And then we're going to take some leaves. Of course our tweezers, they are essential. Pull the sticker, there we go. Take your silicone tool and we're going to start pressing it down so that way we do not have any um, wrinkling, if you will. And you want to do this nice and slow. Trim the excess around the edges. Big old maple leaf sass. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are already experiencing fall where you live because where I live, it's still summer. We don't have any leaves turning red and orange and yellow. We don't have any of that in Arizona. All we have is more summer. The never ending summer. Cause in tight. It's a little acorn fantasy. Happy 
happy tree. Like Bob Ross would say, little happy tree. And smooth and flat. Really press down firmly, you guys. That is one of the best secrets for sticker application. Put some elbow grease into it. We're going to add some 2-4K sequence. So take Wonder Gel. Remember, stickers always look best under two coats of top coat, okay? Always remember that. So beautiful. Oops. So let's add just a, a little bit of sequence. I know that strange coming from me, but we gotta control ourselves. It's all about balance. more it'll be too too heavy so let's remove any excess gel from the side and let's bake this for 30 seconds inside the desmond oven check out the comments really quickly here in seattle we're saying goodbye to warm weather my mom says she loves it hermoso, gracias. Yes, we are not on Shein or whatever that is. And our stickers are not the exact same ones. That is like saying I got my Louis Vuitton bag at the Swami and it looks exactly the same as the Louis Vuitton bag. 
It could look similar, but it is never the same quality. It is not made in America, so close but no cigar. Let us apply a nice little coat of velvet on top of everything. And this is the magic. This is what's going to make it look 3D. down for about 30 seconds or so and let it self level out. Is football a cold weather uh, sport? Loving the fall vibes. Loving the look. Me encanta mucho tus productos. Lástima que no tengo tarjeta. Me fuiste para comprar. Me encanta todo. Ay. Here in Honolulu, Hawaii, it's always nice and sunny, kind of like Arizona. Minus the beautiful tropical weather. Hi, Sue. I like our winter, but I'm not used to like super heavy winters where you have to have like 500 coats and all that kind of stuff. It's not really that fun. Oh, and snow is so cool. messy. Inside the dancing rolling mat. Snow is so messy. It's pretty to look at, but it loses its novelty very quickly. I remember the first time I saw people uh, salting the ground, the roads. I was like, what are they doing? Is it salt you can eat? It was so strange. So if you have a cute winner. I love the cold too. I'd rather be cold than be hot. But not too too cold because when you're old like me, your bones hurt. Yeah, the world does look really pretty. I have to admit, covered in white and snowy. It's very magical, almost eerie looking a little bit, especially at night. Yeah. And are we ready for the review? Look at that, you guys. Look how beautiful it looks with uh, velvet. So different, so much depth in the design. Isn't that chic? Let me get the hard light too so that way everybody can see under that. Wow. 
winter in Illinois must be hard. Yes, I can imagine. Let's get the hard lines. You got snow and heaters and all that kind of stuff. Beautiful it is, you guys. Wow. These nails are giving me the pumpkin spice latte vibe. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's quick little demo. I've missed you guys, and tomorrow we'll do another one. Don't forget to visit EmailCouture.com for the best nail products in the world, and don't forget to check out our brand new diamond gel, you guys. This was about a year in development and production, and it is going to change the way you apply rhinestones. It is the latest and greatest patent-pending technology in rhinestone application. You guys are going to love it. And what can I say? I love you guys. Try to stay out of trouble. I know that's hard for some of us, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.